Our seminar, as Maria mentioned, will last uh, approximately two hours with some breaks built in. Um, so I just wanted to say uh, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on uh, wherever you are. And uh, we'll get started with the seminar. Here's our schedule. Uh, Maria sort of outlined uh, that we will have two five-minute breaks followed by Q&A uh, for around 10 minutes, depending on how many questions there are. And then uh, at the very end, we'll have another session for uh, questions. So as we go along, if you have questions, uh, you can submit them in the, in the question and answer box. So I'm going to talk first about the scope of the seminar and specifically what we will and won't be covering. Um, so uh, clearly, we need to address in uh, engineering practice the vibration questions that come up uh, regarding both human comfort and for uh, sensitive equipment like uh, microscopes, MRIs, um, other uh, research instruments, and so on. Um, we will focus on the vibration of floors in buildings. I won't be really uh, discussing the vibration of footbridges, which is really a, a much uh, more uh, specialized topic and has uh, different considerations than vibration of floors. Uh, we will focus mainly on vibrations due to human activity, that is footfall, uh, walking, or exercise, that is uh, running or aerobics. Um, and vibration forces uh, that we'll be talking about will be occurring from within the structure, not necessarily ground-borne vibrations, that is, those would be vibrations from traffic or, or trains passing near a building. However, all of the principles of vibration analysis and uh, evaluation are applicable to that kind of vibration source. We just won't be going into that kind of source in depth. So we'll be focusing on buildings, human comfort, and sensitive equipment. We'll talk about build, building floors and mainly vibrations due to human activity, especially walking. So let's get started. Uh, I want to describe um, uh, why we're addressing this topic. Uh, each of you has your own reasons for being interested in floor vibration evaluation, analysis, and uh, design. Uh, it, but I, I want to first talk about why this comes up in general in the practice of structural engineering. First of all, it's a very important vibration. Vibration is a very important serviceability limit state. If a building has problems with its floors being too lively, either from a human comfort or an equipment functioning point of view, uh, the building occupant or owner is going to be uh, not happy about the behavior of that building. It seems that clients have become more aware of vibration limits, especially, um, for instance, laboratory um, um, pe people who build sp speculative research lab space. Uh, they want to know what their space is designed for in terms of vibration limits, and they sometimes market their um, leasable laboratory space uh, advertising what the vibration performance of the floors is. Um, if we have problems with vibration after a building is complete, they are very difficult and challenging and can be very expensive to fix. We're also seeing more uh, use of existing buildings for more vibration sensitive occupancies like laboratories uh, or converting uh, former uh, commercial buildings into residential, and so on. Um, we, we are sometimes called upon to do field evaluation of existing conditions, and I'll be talking about the uh, approaches we use for making field measurements of vibration. And finally, as our profession evolves, uh, we're using stronger materials and more slender structural elements and that leads to more potential for vibrations. So these are all reasons why it's important to um, address this subject, and we'll try to touch on approaches for this during this seminar. Um, so vibrations aren't just about comfort, they're about 
uh, the functionality of a building. And I've just shown here uh, four buildings, um, the two classes of b vibration behavior that we might be concerned about would be human comfort and the operation of sensitive equipment. And then I've listed some sensitive equipment there uh, in the lower box and uh, some occupancy types in the right-hand box. And we're all familiar with those. But you can see there's quite a range of sensitivities and uh, occupancies that you might encounter in uh, design. 